panties when it's this hot? <laughs> Me. I only wear panties on my head when it's this hot. That is the, that is the major difference. Otherwise, I just wear it hanging out of the pants pocket because that says cool. But I don't wear them on my head because that's how you get friends. That's what I use as a mask these days. You know what? I can easily keep my six foot social distance when I do that, especially if the panties. I know. I, you know, have to admit, it only took two days. Two days for somebody to post. A picture of somebody walking in Walmart with BVDs on their face. Yep. For a mask. Two days. But that picture was probably from three years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, it's Sunday. You know what that means? It's time for the Margu campaign. Uh, you guys will enjoy these guys because they enjoy screwing each other over. Welcome to Murder Hobo Inc. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to buy our crap, go ahead. If you want to be on our Discord channel, go ahead. Most importantly, if you want to be on this show or the talk show or one of our one shots, let us know mhobo inc at either Twitter or Gmail. Uh, we'll fit you in. If you saw last night's show, you can't do any worse than those guys. Jesus, they were off the rails. Uh, but that was then. This is now. Today we're doing Margu. Let's introduce you to the players uh, and thank our sponsors uh, at Pirate Dog Dice and, of course, OddFishGames.com uh, for sponsoring us and not thinking that we're as stupid as we really are. Uh, first off, Jason. Jason, who are you and who do you play? I play Copious Volbitters the Third, a self-proclaimed gnomish brewmeister and part-time witch. And fantastic entrepreneur because <laughs> i've heard I, i've heard there's a jingle that yeah, we'll get to that later uh next up is the first of the three franks or four franks uh senior frank who are you and who are you playing i am uh, frank senior i'm playing leaf the druid uh, Stunning intro. <laughs> that's it, baby. Uh, that's fair. Uh, next up is uh, AJ. AJ, who are you? Who are you playing? Hey there. My name is AJ, and I am the drunken gambler. And I am playing Felix the Rogue, who is also a drunken gambler. So it's really not a stretch at all. It's it's really just an extension of me. Now, do you own uh, loaded dice in real life? Uh. <laughs> no, I don't. The casino owns the loaded dice. I assure you of that. We'll see uh, how your rolls do tonight. <laughs> uh, next up is Haggis Crabstain. He's been gone a while. He doesn't realize he's missing both arms and one eye, and they call him Lucky Haggis. <laughs> uh, Nicholas, who are you and who are you playing? Hi, I'm Nick. I'm playing Haggis Crabstain, a total coward. Which would explain the no arms and one eye. Yep. <laughs> oh, I, I can't explain that, but... That's because they sewed your lips shut when they did it. Uh, next up is Middle Frank, Frank Jr. Uh, who are you? Who are you playing? I'm Robert of Zeppelin. I'm a bard. I sing loud and beautiful. It's really fun. Can I pet the mice, George? Pretty bunnies, George. Uh, did you ever tell Copious V. Bitters what you did to him? I didn't yeah. have to. He's <laughs> Uh, last but certainly not least, Steve Benners has no clue, but Jason watched the video. Oh, I'm sure Jason's happy about that. <laughs> at, at least, at least, there's at least one sailor on board who. Last but certainly not least, our scarred friend, uh, the fourth of the Franks. Who are you and who are you playing? I am Man Frank. Man Frank? Yeah, you know what? We're going to go with it. Man Frank, I am a dragonborn fighter with a ugly face. Giant scar, but your pillowcase is immaculate, I understand. Yeah. It's the, the compliment. Man. Work of art. It's a work of art. Very Picasso. Awesome. Truly, I, I think it was done in uh, pigments. Uh, folks, if you didn't get to see the last episode two weeks ago, you missed a doozy. These guys finally made it out of Arkpool, and uh, I'm sorry. Cragwitch, too many damn campaigns. Uh, they made it out of Cragwitch, set sail, and for some stupid dice reason, uh, they made it to like day 11 before they encountered Squat. Uh, but on that day, they encountered 
three vessels in a triangular formation inverted uh, and the back uh, vehicle made contact with them, piloted by a minotaur and crewed by some flying kobolds. These guys, uh, they had some problems, but they managed to survive. And today they are going to head off to play drill and try and visit the capital to figure out where these alleged ruins are of an old city. Uh, it should be interesting, and that is putting it mildly. Uh, gentlemen, one and all, as uh, your captain uh, guides you into the straits in between a major set of island chains, uh, you change course to due northwest to hit the capital of Eli Toran. However, clouds are darkening, storm clouds are rolling in, streaks of lightning can be seen in the distance, and the captain orders everybody to maintain vigilance as a serious looking storm is headed this way. Off in the distance, you can see the island chain, so as long as you aren't eaten by sharks or wearing heavy armor, uh, flip off the old vessel, the harlot, shouldn't be overly devastating to you. Oh, Every yeah. Everybody give me perception checks to start the day. That's a die 20 plus your perception. Yeah, I know. I'm not a dummy. You got to figure it out. 20. 22. 17 for me. 7 for you. Yeah. 7 for the noodle. I can't see the pillowcase in my face. A six. Fifteen. Uh, well, at least the druid and the gambler are paying attention. Uh, you two notice a rather substantial wave uh, cresting and headed right for you. Uh, oh, yeah. Fortunately, yeah. the fish-headed captain also sees it and screams out that lovable quote, brace for impact. Uh, Leaf. Felix, you get to roll with advantage, as does Robert of Zeppelin, who had the 17. Everybody else, uh, give me a, I'll give you a choice. You can have a strength check, dex check, uh, as the wave hits the side of the harlot and forces everybody possibly off their feet. The DC is 14. 14. Natural 20. 21. Not natural 20. 13. <laughs> Copious? Uh, nine. <laughs> uh, Manfang? 23. Well, good news. Most of you are okay. <laughs> Copious and Leaf. Oops. Into the wash. Uh, fortunately... This rarely has sharks, unless they're like the giant kind. Uh, you go into the water, Copious uh, and Leaf. What kind of armor are you wearing? Leather. Light leather. Oh, so you guys would be Blame okay. Uh, I will give you uh, the opportunity to roll survival check to see how you're floating. You want Frankie to roll survival for you? He's got that survival thing down. No, thanks. No. He's got medicine. <laughs> For you. Why not? Why not? Twenty-six. Yeah. Opius. Uh, Looking really hard. I think the a lot of math. Well, I wanted to make sure of it because it was nine. <laughs> it's a little low. It's a little low. A little no, low. The, uh, low water. A, a little bit below uh, the water line, as a matter of fact. Uh, Leaf, as you get pitched in, you manage to bob quickly up as the wave continues on out into the area called the Cascade. Can I see Copious? Uh, that is going to require a perception check on, or you know what, investigation check on your part. Everybody else is still <laughs> hugging the rails, so they will get it next round. I just want to point out that my urine tends to glow, and right now there's a big glow around me in the water. So, so like a downed aircraft? Yeah. Well, I was going to try to save him, but I thought water's glowing. My ass ain't going over there. <laughs> it, should, uh, it should be easy to spot, Leaf. Leaf, you don't see all of them, 
but you do see his boots flailing in the uh, waves. Uh, he is about only 10 feet away. So I'm going to thrash over there and try to grab him. Do yeah, have, that, that might be 10 foot farther than my rope can reach. <laughs> show it to you. Do you have uh, proficiency in swimming? By I chance? have no idea. I would say no. Uh, Felix, Hagas, uh, Manfang, and Robert, you may now go ahead and roll investigation as you, you get yourself back on your feet. <laughs> Every, what, if I, I have to roll 20. Five. Nine. Negative three, so I don't think it counts. Two. Thirteen. I guess we'll spot him. <laughs> Everybody else is empty in their boots. Uh, the new round, uh, there is another wave coming. Everybody roll perception to see if you notice Great. it coming. So my death curse, is it randomly a, a, against my enemies or can I specify which? I'll, I'll roll a D6 and if it's one through six, I assume you're going to want it on Robert, correct? <laughs> <laughs> I have 26. 21. Eight. No. No, Robert and Manfang. I got a 18. 24. Uh, Felix is the only one empty in his other boot. Uh, you guys see another wave. You may, A, attempt to throw a rope to the flailing copious V bitters the third, or B, yell, look out! <laughs> Here comes another one. I'm going to yell, swim into the wave. It might throw you back on board. That's true. Or against the ship, whichever one. Man, we went off the other side, right? The wave's coming from the opposite direction, isn't it? Mm -hmm. You got hit port side. You went off the starboard side. No, we'll swim yeah. around. I, uh, you know, I understand the harlot is uh, able to make hairpin turns. <laughs> that what it is? Yeah, medieval ships were very easy to turn. I, I wanted to mention, you know, there's I cannot find anywhere on here where you can pick swimming as a skill. Uh, survival. Just, yeah, yeah, I, think, I think it's survival. Well, my survival it's, skill's great. Well, see if you can reach him as uh, you notice uh, another wave coming at you. Gentlemen, this is going to be a smaller wave, so everybody will roll an advantage. Who's oh, seven, 18. on ship? Okay. Yeah, you managed to get him. Uh, are you going to put him in a headlock and choke him out so that he yeah, doesn't just drown? Bring him, I'm just going to drag him up above the where he can get some air. So, there's not a whole lot of him there, if you know what I mean. Well, I, I will say... Uh, like fishing a turd out of a barrel. I was going to go with a uh, uh, the ventriloquist dummy, but the turd, I guess, would be... <laughs> I don't want to stick my hand up there. <laughs> It's wet. It'll be fine. Uh, I'll everybody... definitely talk. <laughs> talk like Jerry Lewis. <laughs> uh, everybody on ship, uh, here comes the wave. Give me another DC 13, but it is an advantage. Uh, 20, 24, 17. That's that's called 10, Frankie. Yeah, 15. Roll twice and take the best of two rolls. So 14. Now it's 19. 19. You guys That's managed to stay afloat. Uh, Leaf, uh, you have righted copious. However, here comes that second wave. So both of you give me survival checks. Normal, please. 26. 12. <laughs> That's correct. <laughs> Uh, leaf copious, uh, Born for my grasp, be, being <laughs> no better than that. Uh, being a real team player decides to yell out, Here comes a <laughs> and gets a lung full of water. Uh, good news, gentlemen who have remained on board. Uh, you sailors can now taunt the pair or throw them a rope. Well, what if we use the cannon, shove a rope in it, and shoot it at them, and then shoot it at? We might be able to get it at them. We can we can tie it around a. Uh, we need to set it on fire so we warm them up. In the water. That's right. Uh, this is not the face of disagreement. <laughs> yeah, just we're this. yeah, let's do it. <laughs> There's Please, a little list on. Just take board. note here. Just take note. Let's <laughs> at them and rope them back up. All right, right. leave. Hold the <laughs> thing in the air, and we'll hit it like a target and pull you both in. 
<laughs> yeah, the two magic users in the group, and you're standing up there taunting us. Go right ahead. <laughs> you know, now's the perfect so, time for the application of grease. <laughs> I, I, I'm just saying, I've seen you throw poison. <laughs> yeah. oh. <laughs> you might see me throw it again. Ladies and gentlemen, we have trolls. Uh, what do you what do you want to do? Who wants to shoot the ballista at their colleagues? I know Robert of Zeppelin's just got that itchy trigger finger ready to go. Well, you know, leave no survive. I mean, save the people. I'm gonna shoot it at head level, but just slightly higher so that it goes over. Now, I don't know what the hell they're doing, but I'm gonna start trying to make my way back over to the ship, dragging uh copious with me. Fair enough. Harder. Let him go. Uh give me uh another survival check. I'll try you guys a are Bob a board beam or something and throw it out. Thirteen. There. Okay. Oh, uh I got a plus seven, so that tell I tell you. <laughs> so Robert has attached his rope to the two by four. This cannot possibly go wrong. <laughs> uh, you're going to use dexterity as your modifier and try to hit one of them. Right and that will be success. A miss may be problematic. 11. Does that hit either one of you? Who's got the lowest AC? Mine's 14. Mine's 15. I'm going to say uh, you almost brain leaf <laughs> and you're going to have to rethrow. Okay. One, two, or three on your throw is going to cause. Oh, stop, stop right there. Did that yeah. land anywhere close to us, the rope? Nope. Not at 11. But the beam did. I don't mind grabbing it and giving it a jerk. <laughs> oh, I should, I should do that. Uh, his throw wasn't close enough. It had Damn to be it. one off. Just thinking. <clears throat> no, I, I like how that's going. Okay, go ahead and try it again, Robert. Uh, it off, should be easier. Off the ship. Le Leaf is... Uh, hey, it's fine. You know what? Throw one of those worthless sailors overboard. I'll throw a minotaur head. Just tie it to the uh, horns. Did you guys take the minotaur head? Are you chumming the water on purpose? Oh, yeah. That would be bad. <laughs> <laughs> You're chumming the water. I rolled 11 again. Uh, this time it's going to be closer to you, Leaf. Go ahead and see if you can hit an AC 10 to grab it. It's a minotaur head. Grab the dangly stuff out of it. Yeah. What am I rolling on? Dex uh, or? No. Uh, yeah, go ahead and use Dex as your mind. I rolled 15. Yeah, you'll catch the head. <coughs> Drag him up. Uh, there's. Wait. Did he drop copious in order to grab the head? Yeah, <laughs> I just want to check. I, I think it was just using one hand. Okay. Just, it, I want to be sure. Are we sure? I mean, I, I'm not going to hold up. I, I don't think I'm going to drop you. Right Maybe now. we should even odd roll this to make sure. <laughs> make sure he doesn't let go when he's coming up the boat. I want to roll to see if I felt threatened by that minotaur head coming at me. Even he drops him odd, he doesn't hold on. I, I was getting ready to cast spider climb on you, Copious, and throw you at the ship. <laughs> oh, please hang on to him a little bit too long. He's <laughs> over the ship and to the other side. Uh, do you want to cast spider climb on him? No, I, 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 we got the rope. I, I'll save that for later. Uh, Robert, give me a strength check and you can yell for assistance if you want to. I hope so. 13. Good enough. Uh, you guys are slamming up against the uh, side of the ship. The sailors are... Oh, we're taking damage here? <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> I've got one of them ship bumpers between me and the boat, you know. Is it called copious? <laughs> <laughs> a little in the water? Pull it copious, back. copious has a splinter from here to his knee. <laughs> Uh, you guys managed to drag the waterlogged spellcasters successfully up. Uh, copious, Leaf, give me just a straight D20 roll. If it's a one, you got problems. If not, you're fine. The nine. Eight. You, you guys are upright, spitting out water, especially Copious, who got a lungful. He will not be singing his own praises for quite some time. Uh, as the captain looks around, 
Captain Commodore 64, uh, he has managed to lose only one individual who cannot be spotted in the choppy surf. Uh, and uh, being the cursed uh, mariner that he is, that's eh, cost of business. <laughs> <laughs> they continue God. forward as and shark fins. And go, see? Some hero couldn't get his own ass on the floor. <laughs> it's Felix, upright and strong all the time. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. That uh, song is stuck in my head, says the sailor. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we need. A hero. Uh, <laughs> the captain steers his way back into the cove, fully expecting to find the bloated body of his lost mariner in a day or two. Uh, but again, that is the cost of doing business on the high seas. Uh, you pull into the protected cove, and it looks like uh, it suffered some straight line wind damage uh, because there are bits of sails, bits of lumber, a uh, few uh, kegs that are floating, so they're probably empty. Uh, and they haven't say bitters on the end of the keg? <clears throat> not here. Uh, bitters, the bitters distillery has not made its presence oh, known yet. Oh, not yet. Not yet. <laughs> As you pull in, there are a total of six different sea vessels. Each one appears to be of different origins, so you know that you will at least not be the only non-tabaxi in this area. Uh, the first mate, the tabaxi female, stands up next to you and says, this is perfect. It is good to be home. In common tongue. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. She asks if any of you have visited Play Drill before. Space Drill? Not yet, but it's coming. Uh, well, be careful. What? Just, be, just be careful. Well, my people, they're, they're known to be pranksters. Okay, prank. That's not where we'll get pranked. <clears throat> they will. They, they, uh, they have an unusual sense of humor, but I hope you enjoy my beloved homeland. Uh, as the <clears throat> large capital city starts to come into view, each of you notices something unusual. <clears throat> Instead of the standard seafaring buildings around, you still see some rectangular constructions, but some of the buildings don't seem to have walls. Uh, they appear, for lack of a better term, to be large cat trees. That is how the tabaxi live within the jungle walls of... Eli Toran. Uh, the rectangular structures, domed structures, and circular structures are there for the benefit of the visitors of this island nation. As you get in, uh, you see all of the dock hands are tabaxi. Uh, there are calicos, there are straight blacks, there are tabbies, there are short hairs, there are long hairs, but one of them sticks out at you. Siamese. Nope, hairless. Oh, oh there I, is a hairless cat. Felix, come on, settle down now. <laughs> come on. Uh, and that individual appears to be the center of attention. Everybody, give me insight check. Oh, look. Oh, twenty-one. Insight. Nine. Seventeen. Yeah. Seventeen. Also oh. seventeen. And eighteen. I'm pretty good. Ooh, Felix, are you even on deck? <laughs> I don't know. I might be downstairs riding the coffers. <laughs> He's down over the zonkies. Checking his zonkie out. Uh, everybody but Felix uh, seems <laughs> to believe that the hairless cat is probably someone of importance a noteworthiness or possibly even shall we say doc master uh you may be able to get some information from that individual uh as the ropes are tossed up with a great deal of skill uh you notice that there are a lot of outriggers uh located here and they are all piloted slash occupied by tabaxi it appears as though the large galleon that you came in is somewhat of an anomaly here and that the locals enjoy their outrigger canoes uh the dock hands 
quickly toss the ropes, quickly leap aboard the ship uh, with amazing dexterity, lash it down, and welcome you to this capital, Eli Toran. However, uh, they have a weird accent, Tunisian, which... Uh, we all learned last night that I cannot do accents, so I will skip doing the crappy accent. Uh, but they are, uh, for lack of a better term, Bedouin types uh, with no particular home per se. Uh, the dock master, the Phoenician, uh, the cat, the hairless cat, uh, approaches your captain. Uh, Commodore 60 foe and his first mate uh, you can tell that the conversation does not go well and that the first mate is not exactly an honored guest for some reason uh, Commodore 60 foe uh, looks at you guys and waves you on down I took a walk with pride with my head held high and strode on out I'm going down, see what's going on. Everybody going down. Anybody want to go get Felix? Who wait, nobody's really sure where he's at. <laughs> yeah, please, somebody come and get me. I don't want to be on the ship anymore. <laughs> Before I leave the ship, I'll go get Felix, but I'm going to make sure I stop and talk to each sailor and pass them a single coin for their support of the Vol Bitters Brewery and sing the song to them again. Oh, it's permanently stuck in several people's heads. <laughs> Oh, this, uh, this is getting nasty. Especially, I look forward to the return voyage. Uh, I tell them all that. <laughs> uh, they they would be na, 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 happy to attend you. Uh, as everybody gets off, uh, Commodore 60 Foe introduces you to Phoenicia, honored dock master of the Tabaxi, and also in charge of visitors. Uh, the cat has a very strange accent and I, I really can't put it into play because I'm a little under the weather. And again, I don't do accents very well. If you want voices, go do critical role or something like that. Th this is hardcore play here, folks. Um, and Phoenicia would like to, uh, know what you guys are doing and specifically asks, Felix the Rogue with a three. <clears throat> we are here to assist with looking for ruins of the lost city. So says Felix. Felix the champion. <laughs> Performance oh. check, please, Robert. <laughs> <laughs> well... Jesus, the old man's kicking in here. Uh, 25. Yes. Natural 20. Venetia is happy with the, uh, shall we say, boisterous entrance uh, and asks Felix, are you defilers of temples in your homeland or just in ours? But we aren't defilers of temples at all. So says Felix. Felix the champion. I see. Felix the what? What's that last word? Champion. Champion. Okay. Uh, I thought he said turd bird. I couldn't tell. What that was. I thought he said tampon. Felix the tampon. That's what I kept hearing. Hey, okay, doctor. Love. Turn your volume down a little bit there, turd. <laughs> Felix, I, I'm guessing you need to spend a little coin on some bard. <laughs> <your own. laughs> brave Sir Robin approach is going to get you. Uh, <clears throat> what is your business with the Lost City? <laughs> Come on, fearless leader. What, what's your we Felix the champion. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be where they're here to document it. Or archaeology. Yeah, observe and yes. document. Document it. Yes. Archaeologist. But uh, what makes you any different than the gnome investigators? Yeah. We're taller. Yeah, a lot taller. We can see more than they we can. can they call grass sometimes. You know, it's just. They look over at copious. We're not corrupt and evil. Like, yeah. no. <laughs> now, we do have our gnome bearers. They will tell you 
horrible, bad product and lie to your face. I mean, I just don't trust them. And we, I, okay. we don't have the racial prejudices that the gnomes have. That's that's why we brought Felix. <laughs> of women or men. So, the way this is going, um, unbeknownst to all that, I'm going to try to cast Minor Illusion behind Robert of Zeppelin and Felix. I'm just going to... Wit. I fear like some really grumbly dog sound, like just something, to, you know, really a dark <laughs> menacing sound that would come up behind <sighs> both of them. Every time Robert sings a song about Felix the champion, it should go off during the duration of the illusion. Fair enough. Dark uh, dog, is that what we're so doing? So sort of a dark, you know, dark uh, you know, cast Chop. to their features and sound or sort of something menacing. Chopper sick balls kind of moment here. Yeah, that's it. You got okay. it. Okay, uh, I can see that. Uh, Felix, so uh, Phoenicia, Phoenicia seems to accept the response thus far uh, and asks if you have made any preparations. Yes, that's how we, uh, we have. We have completed uh, a number of preparations. Preparations A through G, we're pretty good. We're currently on preparation H, and it is H very Griselda. well. <laughs> I'm not even going to make you roll for that one. I'm going to give that one to you. Because uh, that provided a little relief for all of us. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. We know what G... We know what G stands for. Uh, go to the next one. <laughs> uh, I noticed Robert got awful quiet. <laughs> uh, uh, I will remind you and your illustrious companions that uh, removal of any artifacts from our land uh, is not allowed and will be dealt with with very serious consequences. That being said, Welcome to our land, Eli Toran. Uh, please make yourself at home. You may enjoy the foreign inn uh, just down the road. I think it might be more your speed. <laughs> Real slow talker. Real slow talker. Real slow. You, you can tell there's just a hint of... Uh, uh, racism, I'll say. Sounds perfect to me. There you go. Uh, so you can tell that this uh, Ph Phoenicia, the tabaxi dock master, uh, may or may not have had his fill of investigating adventurers. Well, nothing to worry. We'll keep an eye out on those gnomes from stealing things. Uh, do and any of you speak tabaxi? I comprehend language, if you want me to cast it. Uh, you can tell that the two tabaxi, the first maid and Phoenicia, are discussing something in a foreign tongue. If you want to eavesdrop, you will have to cast it. Okay, on self, one hour. I don't even know how the hell you cast it. Just say I'm casting it. Mm -hmm. I'm casting it. I'm curious of what they're saying now. Uh, something about somebody called Naraya. Naraya. The wind. Wasn't it? The wind called Naraya? Uh, in this case, uh, Robert, you are able to determine that apparently these two had the same lover at one time, and Naraya is uh, staunchly in uh, Team Phoenicia's boundaries, which brings a grimace to the first mate. I'm going to pass this along to my, my associates very quietly. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Very valuable information. Now they're talking about how these gnomes, they just don't trust them and they're dirty. <laughs> the rest of the dock hands clearly do not comprehend your language and just eh, go about and lick themselves uh, intermittently before sprinting off to do something else. Uh, as the ship is secured, uh, Commodore 60 Foe will tell you he plans on only residing here one week, seven days. Uh, so if you're going to investigate, you have a seven-day grace period. Otherwise, you're going to have to find different arrangements. And what do you want me to do with your zonky companions? I guess uh, is there trails or uh, whatever around here. I'm, I guess uh, whoever asked the the uh, dock manager. <laughs> <coughs> There are trails to, to, to the city, or is there? 
to the to the actual capital city or the lost city? Lost city. Felix, you want to ask? Sure, I've got a rapport with her already. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Excuse me, Phoenicia. Um, we do have a couple of questions. Apparently, preparation H is not fully working just yet. Uh, well, I can see. I can smell that coming. <laughs> anything to bring it back up? He. I think yeah. he really put his finger on that one. Yeah, he did. <laughs> Uh, could you give us a description of this lost city? Maybe point us in the direction and tell us a little bit about it. No. <laughs> <laughs> I say we might as well take the zonkeys with us. I don't want to leave them here. What if the captain leaves when we get me. back? That's it. Yeah. They're gone. Yeah. So let's get I, the zonkeys kind of Yeah. Uh, the zonkeys will be offloaded along with uh, various supplies, both oncoming and outgoing uh each one of you will be given your zonkeys each one of you will notice that they seem to have fared much better than copious and leaf did uh mostly because they were in enclosed confined space and didn't fall into the water uh everybody roll a d20 let's make sure none of them came up gimpy d20 son what would be and gimpy just a one just a one okay <laughs> two <laughs> Dad, nothing. Just what's your role? Then eleven. No ones. What was it, Copious? <laughs> what was, was it a two? Three. Copious. Oh, oh, see. Robert Robert's zonkey fared the worst. Uh, all zonkeys seem to be present and accounted for. All seem to be in functioning order. Uh, any equipment that you had on them is still there. Nobody has stolen anything. As you head off, uh, the dock area is quite a busy place. As I said, there are a variety of different races here boarding their own vessels. One thing you do not see are minotaur. No Minotaur, because those pirate sons of bitches, uh, you'll have to find out where those pirate sons of bitches are. Uh, but they are not here. Uh, you can pass several orcs. You will pass uh, no elves. Uh, a few seasick slash drunk slash hungover dwarves. Uh, and a few other races available, bipedal slash humanoid as well. Uh, the directions given to Felix slash the group uh, to the foreign uh, is straight ahead and over to the right. Uh, and that seems to be a clear cluster of rectangular and spherical cone-shaped uh, buildings, which you are all kind of used to. Uh, it reminds you of home. Uh, whereas dead center and off to the left looks like cat tree jungle gym heaven. I'm going to mount my minotaur head to the back of my zonkey, so you can't tell which way it's going. Put its head on your put put the head of a min, the minotaur on the zonkey zonkey head. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, do you want to go to the foreign inn or do you want to find something else? I say we go to foreign inn. We've had so much good luck going to inns. Yep. Uh, you go into the foreign inn, and it is a tabaxi with one eye and thumbs. Oh, strange. I am Mittens, stranger. Who might I have the pleasure of dealing with? This is Felix. Felix. Happy <laughs> again. Lover of women and men. How, how long does that illusion last? <laughs> uh, it's a full hour, isn't it? Let me see. Oh. I, but can I can I modify it? Because now I think I just want a little red laser pointer that just keeps moving all over uh, his enough. body as he's trying to talk. Uh, at Roberts? Yes, at Roberts. Uh, Robert, as you give that stunning introduction again, uh, Mittens, the proprietor, apparently you uh, think it may be some kind of uh, greeting and tabaxi culture. Give me an insight check. How are you, Mitten? <laughs> I, it, it only lasts one minute. My mistake. Uh, but I, I think this, this interaction should stand. Uh, that'll work. <laughs> 16. Uh, you me, you repeat the gesture and Mittens uh, and then 
shifts uh, gaze back to Felix. Uh, who's out with the Zonkies, or did you bring him in? I'll be out with so the I've got mine. I, I didn't win. I'll, with them. I'll be out with the Zonkies. So uh, Manfang and Leaf are outside. Uh, Felix uh, Mittens, the proprietor, would like to know uh, what you want to do. Hello, Mittens. Yes, we are travelers looking for the ancient lost city. We heard rumors that some gnomes have come back. And we're here to document it. Perhaps you would have some information to point us in the direction and give us some more information about the, the trails and if there are trails or if we have to forge our way through the jungle to get there. Fair enough. Uh, she seems, or the proprietor seems distracted with your colleague, Haggis Crapstain, because that is a three and there's only four of you in there. I'm sorry, what did you say? <laughs> no, I'm confused too. Uh, you, you can tell that Mittens just seems to be looking at Haggis's hair, <laughs> which we discussed in Green Room. <laughs> Path, trails, broken city, anything you can tell. Yeah. Oh, yes. Um, no, I cannot. Uh, I'm afraid you would have to check with the gnomes in room seven. They might be. Thank you. Uh, may I ask a question? Absolutely. Uh, Mittens turns to Haggis and asks how he gets such a brilliant sheen on his mane. He will want a special sauce. Haggis, are you going to answer it? Oh, I needed some hair gel. <laughs> You're wrong. <laughs> what? Uh, hey, Mary. <laughs> Mitten, Mitten seems to be entranced by your hair. I wants to know how it shines so brilliantly. Uh, also, by the way, you're having a real tough time determining sex on all of these tabaxi. So, yeah. Okay. So you know, can, can I just can I just self evaluate what happened to me because I have no idea. Just so I know what I look like. From the last previous episode, Perhaps do you guys you need a mirror? Yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah. you were fine last episode. Is, yeah, is there like a mirror? You <laughs> look absolutely horrible, hideous. You're like a little crap stain in a pair of underwear. So you look naturally the same as you did last week. Yeah, Felix, I'll give you a mirror behind the uh, counter. Yeah, I'll, I'll point to the mirror and say, "Look, see, that's the way you look." Well, that's wrong uh, because Mittens turns around and looks, and all of a sudden. <laughs> Man, that's what you do. <laughs> uh, Mittens thinks Easy somebody has snuck up on him. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm new. Good, I'm new. To, I'm new to the foreign in. I'm still trying to get used to the fact that. Okay, I'm still trying to get used to the fact that that's not another cat behind me. Uh, no, I was just curious as to the brilliant shine of your hair. What's your charisma? Oh. Um... Something Felix did to you while you were sleeping there. Like uh, one. The addition's one, 12, but. Oh, yeah. Uh, the cat seems to really enjoy your. I'm going to give you long hair unless you tell me otherwise. So. No, uh, that's cool. Just just enjoys your hairstyle. Okay, cool. Um, How many rooms would you guys like? There, I see there are four of you. What? One plus one for the gnome's big ego? You know, you guys are usually so noisy you can't figure out <laughs> who's saying what. You're all sitting there. Duh, duh. <laughs> that's Felix is the one that's supposed to say everything for us. Yeah, I'm saying too. I don't yeah, want to be. I, I'm, I'm looking I'm at my notes because, as I recall, somebody got puked on on the way over here, and they still smell bad because they didn't go into the drink, and I believe <laughs> it was noodle. <laughs> so I would like at least two rooms. One for us. Uh, uh, we better get three because. Probably one with a very large door for Mr. <laughs> Bitters, so he can get his big head door. Which Fair one enough. of you is Bitters? I don't argue with it. <laughs> uh, okay. you can, you, you'll be, you'll know when you see him. You'll know. Well, gonna... Bitters is inside. Leaf and Noodle are the ones outside. So the Tabaxi clearly said, "How many rooms <laughs> you want for the four of you?" Yeah. So you want three rooms. Five rooms? 
five rooms or two. Haggis wants his own room? That's pretty right, fine. Yeah. One, two, three, four. Right, he, he's he's, he's, he's sensing a love rooms. connection. Three rooms. He's sensing a love connection. Three rooms. Uh, roll against me, D12. Can't believe we're haggling rooms. I know. <laughs> <laughs> One. Uh, I only got two rooms available. We'll the, take gnome, the gnomes are taking a lot of space. Ah, oh, those damn gnomes. We yeah, they, they insisted on having one room per gnome. And they have eight gnomes. Uh, gives you the keys. Uh, sh for some reason, they're all carved out of dog bones. So you aren't sure what that's about. Mm. Uh, but each one has a bell on it. <laughs> Are these rooms going to be... Uh capable of holding our zonkeys or do we need to find stables for them as well uh i'm not judgy but we do not allow livestock to spend the evening within the foreign inn <laughs> but he's my support animal no judgment is there a stable <laughs> nearby yes there is a stable nearby in the adventures section perfect it is I'm called the funny. OK Corral. Okay. <laughs> so I feel like that's what I'm supposed to do to fit in. Do not go out there at noon. <laughs> uh, um, you can ask for Doc. Doc? Oh God. <laughs> yeah, you'll yes, be your huckleberry. huckleberry. <laughs> uh, so it uh, gives you, how many rooms did you get? Two? Two. Or and yes. Can Mittens point us in the direction of a, a, a uh, an outfitter for supplies for a trek into the... Any adventure area. Oh, most certainly. It's right next to the stables. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, Are there any guides for hire by chance in the area? Uh, I would not know. Um uh, the gnomes certainly would. However, they are not currently in. They are checking on one of their compatriots at the temple. And the temple would be where? Uh, three blocks away from the corral, just down okay. the road. So, Can't okay. miss it. There's a there's a big triangle on it for whatever religion that means. Delta, Delta, Delta. So um, after checking out the room, just to make sure it's okay, I'm going to go to the stables and then to the temple to find the gnomes to get information. Each room has its own scratching post. Just saying. Ooh, I want to when, when when Copius comes out of the inn, I'm going to ask him what's going on. Well, you guys, he's going to tell you that you guys don't have a room. <laughs> I was going to say, you know, they they put all five of you in the same room. I don't know what's up with that. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to I'm going to say we're going we're going to the stables. We can stable the zonkeys. We can get uh, provisions for the trek into the jungle, and we need to go to the temple to uh, talk to the gnomes about the, the, what they can tell us about the temple and the path to the temple. And we can ask about a guide from the, the gnomes at the same time. All right. So I'll head to the stables with them. Fair enough. Uh, about a block down, just as Mittens has proclaimed, is the OK Corral. And I'm take I'm gonna take all the zonkeys with me. So anybody didn't come outside, I don't think they're stolen. I guess. Well, I think everybody checked the room and they came out. Correct? Did it? Yeah, I put my stuff in Felix's room and Leaf in Felix's room, and then when after Copius walked out, I put Noodles, <laughs> Agus's shit in the other room. <laughs> I'd put Copius's shit in the hallway, right? <laughs> Uh, so everybody comes out. Robert's a little behind schedule, probably uh, primping and priming himself to try and get himself to look like Haggis, because uh, Haggis is just getting all the tabaxi, I'll say. Uh, you guys are outside. You are given the directions to the OK Corral. Uh, Leaf, is, Leaf and Manfang have uh, a firm grip on the zonkeys. You two will have noticed that the zonkeys are... Uh, as they always will be, uh, a bit of an irregularity. And there are a lot of interested uh, people viewing them. Uh, let's say Odd Leaf, even Man Fang. Odd Seven Leaf, an individual, a half-orc of uh, 
proportional size to Robert of Zeppelin, approaches you and says, Hey, how much for the, the, the zonkey? Hey, the zonkey not for sale. How about that zonkey? That zonkey not my zonkey. That zonkey not for sale. So how much for that zonkey? <laughs> <laughs> Which one are we pointing at? That, that white one? That albino zonkey? Six. Yes. Man fangs. <laughs> albino zonkey. Oh, yeah, that's <laughs> <laughs> that is zonkey. You have to talk to... No, 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 no. You have to talk to the dragonborn. That not my zonkey. Uh, I do not like dragonborn. They have bad breath. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, if, if you change your mind, ask for Jimmy. <laughs> okay, Jimmy. Uh, he weaves. Uh, no problem, no malice, no threats, no promises. Uh, and that is when everybody else comes out. You discuss with copious fee bidders what the living arrangements are going to be and are informed of the OK Corral. Uh, hop, skip, and a jump later, you are at the OK Corral, and you guys notice that you are not the only ones with strange and unusual mounts in the capital city of Playdrill. You Ooh. notice that there is a large elephant. Ooh. Is that pink? I can add it to my collection. It, it is tethered and marked, so you can assume it is. You also notice what appear to be uh, bipedal round large birds with elongated necks commonly known as ostrich uh several of those and then you find some chocobos choco who axe, be axe beats <laughs> from uh the uh chocobos from final fantasy Chocoho? they are a myriad of colors uh mm. an individual with a limp comes out uh, a standard tiger striped individual. Uh, it says, I'm Doc. What do you need? I'd like to stable my zonkey here for at least a week. That is fair. I mean, are, we're, are we, we leaving the zonkeys here and going on foot to the city or are we taking the zonkeys, guys? I, we don't know that yet. We're not sure we're, how far gonna, or what the, what the land is. Like, yeah, we need to talk to the gnomes to find out what the pattern right. is. Well, we'll do overnight for now, but it might be for more. That is fair. That is fair, my friend. How much are you willing? Uh, how much are you wanting? What's it's your bottom strange, dollar? Since it's a strange, exotic creature, uh, they're very difficult to hold on to. Uh, yeah. I might say. Uh, uh, I would have to say two, two gold marks per. One uh, per? Is that uh, what you did? You say one per? I said two per. per. Yeah. What? What is two per buy? Two per buy is uh, lodging, food, uh, and uh, love. Uh, how about security? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, we how are very love? secure. Okay. It depends on if Jimmy is around. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy, he is Jimmy is not allowed here anymore. I kid, I kid. <laughs> there, there was a small problem with Jimmy. I don't. Yeah, I, yeah you do not need to know. Jimmy not allowed here. Yeah. Jimmy how, likes the zebra. How much are you worth? How much am I worth? All right. You can tell he's uh, he's got some coin. The stables look very good, actually. I mean, anything I, that can hold a freaking elephant. Can I, 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 if, um, if my zonkey's gone in the morning. It's your hide that I take and replace for it. I am not concerned. As long as you're hey, on. Uh, hey, who turned in those exotic animals? Uh, oh. they, are, they are mounts. Really? Hmm? For sale? For sale. No, those are owned mounts. Wow. Uh, what now, if Jimmy I, comes up? Uh, Jimmy does not like the elephant. That is why Jimmy's not allowed. <laughs> Did Jimmy do something to the elephant? Jimmy yeah. was... Uh, uh, I did not Don't ask. Don't ask. Uh, Let's not go down that road. <laughs> I, I'm like, right, two marks is fine. fine. Two's fine. Here you go. I'm, I'm, I'll pay the man. PETA could be watching. <laughs> That's right. Our 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 stab at a podcast taken down by PETA. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
they don't mind the killing or uh, the misogynistic jokes or just the rampacious humor, but eh, mess with those animals. Uh, that and the producer will shut me down. So not allowed to kill war cows. Uh, oh, I need, I need some war oxen in this area. Okay. Uh, with two marks paid, uh, right. Doc says uh, they'll be here when you need them. Okay. There's an adventurer store right next door. Let's go. Let's go over there. Well, yep, let's just uh, back and behind. Uh, and in the common language, it says Gear Inc. Um, I want to talk to the gnomes before I go in there to find out what the trek out and back would be. Wait, like. wait a minute. What are the gnomes here? Or are you going all the way back to the inn? They're, the gnomes are at the temple around from just down from the yeah. adventurer Inc. Oh, okay. So I'm going to go with triangle bitters. on the outside. I go with so who, who's going to the temple? Three right. of you? Four of you? I guess we're all going to the temple now? Sultan. Argus? Okay, so you're all going to the temple. Uh, you get to the temple of, I'll call it Delta, uh, and you are greeted by Father Belushi at the door. Uh, Jim or John? Uh, it's the funny one. Jim. <laughs> <laughs> It's, we'll go with the one that's still alive. Uh, James. James Belushi. Father James. Father James. So, uh, no relation to Jimmy. That's an entirely different individual. <laughs> uh, wants to know, hello, my friends. What may I do for you? Now, this individual is a swarthy individual. He is human, uh, but he is definitely not from the Crag Witch region. And you aren't really sure... What region he's from, because you have not explored the width and breadth of the continent. Uh, but he is human, and he does seem to speak the common language. Sultan, okay. uh, we're going to ask, uh, tell him we were we were told there were some gnomus adventurers were here visiting a, a, an incapacitated friend, and we're trying to make contact with them. That poor gnome. He is in bad shape. Oh, what's the matter with him? His head. He has been poisoned. Uh, maybe I could. Maybe I could save him. <laughs> it's genetic. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> I come from the temple C. C collar. Medic over here. Yeah, I got corporate medic school. I, but, does uh, Father James know what happened to him? Uh, yes. Uh, the gnome investigators from the Gnomish Scientific Council were exploring some, uh, uh, shall we say, a unexplored off the grid region in the jungle and stumbled across, allegedly, uh, the lost city of Nezumi. N-E-Z-U-M-I, Nezumi. And uh, I don't know all of the details, uh, but when they came back, uh, one of their associates was completely out of his mind, uh, ate one of his colleagues, uh, mm. and just uh, had to be tied up. Maybe I could Ooh. help him. Sounds like he was drinking. I don't know, know about man fame, but maybe I can help you with the poison. No, 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 no. I got my medical skills. I, I got this sorted out. I can go help him with you. I'll be here. He went to Phoenix online and he got his doctoral <laughs> yeah. uh, in life saving techniques. <laughs> I watched a video. It's okay. He watched the YouTube video. I watched the video. I watched the YouTube I watch the YouTube tutorial. <laughs> Father Belushi is concerned. Uh, are you friends of the gnomes? Because they did not mention anybody that they knew. Not going to say anything. I'm just going to like look down at myself and go. Clearly, clearly I'm a gnome. Are you from the Gnomish Scientific Council? Uh, I am representing uh, an offshoot of the Gnomish Scientific Council. Known Chemical as the branch. Bull Bitters Institute. <laughs> I suppose I can allow you in and perhaps one other person. Let me go in and look at him. Maybe I can help him. I can help him. Uh, uh, yes, that sounds good. I'll take uh, Drew, the famed healer. My, my Leaf. First name I'll leave my pack bearers here in the entryway. Feel free to abuse them if you need to. Throw them some scraps for food. Let's go. Yes. 
Uh, Felix, Haggis, Noodle, and Robert, uh, you guys are essentially locked out of this one. Uh, good news, though, you see a couple sailors headed this way. One of them is extremely drunk. Uh, copious leaf. Uh, Father Belushi leads you back in, and just as the door begins to shut, you hear one of the drunken sailors. Apparently, a little too much. <laughs> Do you like that brew? Is that your uh, favorite brew? That is my all time favorite is now as we speak the man who makes that brew is lying hurt in that room right over there and there's an evil gnome about to lay hands on him you should defend him or lose that brew forever they begin to beat on the door uh father belushi takes leaf and copious back uh the entire temple is rather ornate uh it shows some kind of healing god uh performing miracles on a mosaic floor uh flowing tapestries uh with windows beyond allow a nice cross breeze making it a very airy very serene kind of atmosphere you are taken by several alcoves where people can get worked on uh to the very back uh where there is a sliding barn door uh the barn door is moved over and Father Belushi, in a very contrite voice, my apologies, gentlemen, uh, a member of your offshoot is here to discuss something. Uh, Copious, give me a deception check. <laughs> what? Yeah. 11. I was too embarrassed to say what it was because he actually 11? was pretty good at this. Yeah, 11. Uh, they do not recognize you, uh, but do recognize you racially. Uh, thank you, Father Belushi. Uh, you two notice that a gnome is strapped down with four inch thick leather bands on the bed, and he's got uh, cloth in his mouth. Uh, his eyes are bloodshot red, and he has an exceptionally large drooling problem. So he is sitting up at an angle as the drool runs down his naked body. Uh, they look at you two and go, can we help you? I want to take a look at him and say he's poisoned. Uh, they stop him and in uh, the gnomish language ask Copius, who the hell is this guy? I'm going to refer to him as an, an expert on uh, uh, on matters of, of healing. Um, uh, a druid, a traveling companion of mine. I specialize in, in uh, mind-altering substances as well. Uh, and so we heard of the case and we, we rushed here for, uh, from across the sea to from Cragwich to provide assistance if we can. Well, we heard your alcohol causes hallucinations. Uh, <laughs> Leaf, they let you pass. Go ahead and give me a medicine check. Twenty-seven. This guy's got a problem. <laughs> it doesn't look like that was a natural twenty. Oh yeah, he doesn't look like he's poisoned, uh, but there is something mentally incapacitated with him. Uh, it, you do not recognize the signs of the illness. You are thinking maybe curse, maybe magical curse. Outside, uh, Robert's uh, suggestion has not paid off well as the three sailors begin to beat on the door, calling the attention of several tabaxi who are not naked. Uh, they are wearing breastplates, carrying raper or rapers. Wow, oh rapiers! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was just a little hey, you telling what was going to happen at the end. Up. <laughs> uh, they, are, this one. <laughs> they are carrying rapiers, uh, and they're giving off a very nice "puss in boots" uh, attitude, uh, kind of gently push you out of the way to the front of the door and tap, tap, tap 
on the shoulders of the three drunken amigos who you've only been gone like a half hour. These sailors got hammered drunk fast. Uh, they began to speak to the sailors in tabaxi. The sailors respond in some kind of guttural and profane language. Uh, one of the tabaxi clearly understands what these individuals are talking about. Uh, and it is less than comforting. One of them turns around and looks at Felix and says, are these with you? The sailors? No, they are not with us. They were just passing by and we, uh, they started beating on the door for some reason. Hey, I still owe you money from you beating me at cards. <laughs> Are these the sailors from the ship? Yes. Oh, you do owe me money. That's right. <laughs> sailors. Damn it. I wouldn't have sent them over. Now, the tabaxi uh, pick up on the exchange and go, uh, How does this individual whom you don't know owe you money? You right. didn't ask if we knew them. You asked if they were with us. We do know them, but oh. they are not here with us. They. They helped us across the sea to get here from Cragwich. They row, row, rowed the boat. They rowed the boat. But we parted ways once we got to the harbor, and now we are, we just happen to know them. And he owes me money, which I will be collecting. You, Man Fang, do you know these individuals? Uh, no, I do not. It's the same exact thing as what Felix the Great said. Felix the champion. Felix, Felix the champion. champion. The lover of women and men and cats. Oh, just one what? minute, right? <laughs> women and men? When did the men get in there? <laughs> and feline. We're in the oh, right Well, place. Not, uh, you know, they're... Oh, lover of all. all. Let's roll with it. <laughs> lover of all, friend of many. Any port in a storm. <laughs> Any... Yes. Uh, Felix... Man Fang, give me persuasion checks. I need a team. <laughs> he just said Man Fang and Felix. Fine. Roll it, big boy. Plus. Plus. Persuasion. That's perception. Performance. What is it? I got 16. It's okay. Uh, the tabaxi in charge seems to be okay with your explanation. Goes. We will help you get rid of the riffraff. Thank you very much for visiting our city. The three tabaxi roughly grab a hold of the mariners and drag them around the corner of the building as you stand at the front door awaiting Copious and Leaf's valiant return. Inside, Leaf, <coughs> yeah, it's anyone's guess, uh, in Gnomish Copious, one of the individuals says, uh, is he going to be able to cure our friend or not? Uh, I'm going to say he's still he's still doing his analysis, but it appears that this is no normal illness that has taken your friend. He thinks it may be uh, uh, magic uh, related here, perhaps even a curse. Can he? Can uh, the, I'm asking the gnomes if they can provide any details as to when their friend became afflicted and what was the situation surrounding it. It was shortly after our arrival in the uh, presumed lost city of Nizumi, uh, which is a ruins area. Uh, we were on a geological survey for the Gnomish Scientific Council, as I'm sure you are already aware of, and I will not bore you with the details since I'm sure that you have been completely briefed. Uh, upon arrival, a short time later, we found some uh, fauna that... Uh, struck my associate's fancy, uh, and he made a collection of it. A uh, short time after that, it seems as though demons possessed him, uh, and he killed one of our friends named Clint. And do they have uh, the sample of a font... Uh <clears throat> the samples that had been collected from their friend, do, are they still in possession of it? And did, did he say fauna or flora? Uh, I'm sorry, it should have been flora. Flora. My, okay. my apologies. Flora. Yes, uh, it, it was uh, it was plants, not not 
creatures. Uh, no, we did not. Uh, due to our hasty retreat uh, <laughs> by some nasty creatures that still inhabit the ruins, uh, we dropped the flora and uh, lost it. We actually lost a great deal of our equipment and barely made it back intact, as it were. Two, two Shouldn't things. you be writing this down? To Mental give? notes. Steel trap. I'm going to give it all to Leaf here in a minute. Fair enough. So... <laughs> Two uh, follow-ups to this, and, uh, and one being, could they provide a, a description of what the flora looked like, just in case it, it's necessary for our further study? For Leaf, I'm going to translate directly for Leaf. He is a druid. I'm emphasizing this druid. This is an area of specialty for him, so certainly we want a good, accurate description. And then would there, by chance, uh, provide some details onto the path and the to the presumed lost city so that we can work our way back there and see if we can find a cure for their friend. And if we were able to retrieve their lost gear, would there perchance be a reward for that if we were to bring it back at the same time? There is too much. Let me sum up. <laughs> uh, the plant he describes as in chat, uh, it stood about three feet tall and it was covered in black Petals. Uh, for lack of a better term, we are calling it the black bat because when the wind blows, the petals flutter like that of a bat's wings. Uh, we do not know if this is associated with his ailment or not, but it did come shortly after him stowing it in his gear. As for the map, yes, we have made uh, a generalized map of it at great expense, I might add. Uh, it is not with us however at this time it is safely tucked away back at the inn the foreign inn as for a reward for regaining our belongings certainly i would expect a fellow member <coughs> gnomish scientific council to do the right thing yeah. and return our belongings. This are you, which branch are you from? Did the you bull, say? Bull bitters, academy, uh, alchemic uh, studies. Uh, oh, one, but the, um, the key here is this isn't for me. It's to pay the expense of my bears. They are not part of the gnomish community. I couldn't afford the best. So I had to go with what was available. So, <clears throat> hey, this is all in gnomish, right? This is all in gnomish. Yeah. This is uh, all in gnomish. Leaf every once in a while. He's like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Going well. Squeak, you know, squeak, I had to squeak, look squeak because it. I couldn't remember if I took gnomish or goblin as one of my language. It had to be god goblin. It's too bad. So uh, this is really just to pay the expense of my my uh, uh, litter bearers in the back. Uh, <sighs> you know, these these folks they're not cheap. Uh, you know, they don't understand the value of the scientific inquiry or process. But I will need them to carry your gear out. So if you could possibly pr help offset some of those unexpected expenses, I'd be very grateful. And if we could make a, see your map long enough to make some notes on it so we can get to where you think you left your gear, we will immediately take off. About how long did you say does it take to get to the this lost city? And why do you keep calling presumed lost city? It's either lost or it's not, right? We found it. <laughs> Touche. <laughs> Uh, and I was waiting for somebody to ask. That. <laughs> uh, well, as I'm sure you were aware in the information packet that you were given. It was uh, blown overboard during a storm. Ah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yes. This, uh, this was the site of a rather nasty straight line wind event. Our geological survey team is currently out uh, checking the wreckage and the carnage. Uh, there, well, it depends on which route you take. Uh, we went uh, via ship because it was faster. Uh, there is also an inland trail, uh, which is, I'm told, far less dangerous, but uh, we are brave. Uh, so we took the easy route. And quite honestly, uh, we only ran into a few small problems. Uh, and by chance, what were they? The uh, it was problem. a water elemental. Water elemental. But you say there's an overland route. See, that has worked for us well in the past mm -hmm. um, on other adventures. 
And we there do is have transportation. I'm afraid you would have to go ahead and deal with the unsavory individuals that we had to deal with in order to get uh, our map. I believe uh, that individual may or may not uh, possess an overland map. Uh, I will go ahead and caution you that the individual is rather questionable in temperament. Back over to uh, everybody outside. Robert. Hagas, you guys are closest to the corner. Uh, after escorting the three drunken sailors around the corner and into some foliage, you hear what sounds to be a beating going on. A short time later, the three tabaxi uh, guardsmen tip their large fedoras to you and begin to walk away. Somebody else picturing Puss in Boots when he says that? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Been doing that since these guys showed up. Yep. Poos and boots. So, would you like to investigate or just say, eh, probably nothing? Yeah, sure. I'll investigate. Yeah, I'll follow. Uh, Hagas and Robert, uh, you round the corner and you find three beaten and bloody sailors. It looks like the town guard also took liberties with their coin purses and alcohol. Uh, the men are a little bit beaten up. Uh, and not quite in their right minds. If they needed any assistance of the medical uh, field, they really need it now. I'm going to apply this assistance to them. I can help them. I got medical oh, 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 We oh, don't oh. want to kill them. No, I'm not going to kill them. I'm going to save them. They got to sail us back, Nimrod. So I'm, I'm going to uh, I'm going to assist them. How are you going to assist them? By your heal, healing work. Okay, that's fine. All three of them? Uh, Jesus, that's quite a bit. Now, uh, Noodle, did you go with them? Yes. Uh, yeah, I'll go with them. I will do all three. We're resting, okay. you, right, guys? Probably. Uh, Felix, that leaves you at the front door, and a cleric approaches with the hood uh, over their head. Uh, as it gets close, you notice the presence of whiskers sticking out from underneath the hooded cloak and the creature stops, turns around and dips its hood revealing a very attractive Siamese cat. Hello, I am Minerva. Do you require healing assistance? Hello, Minerva. I do not require healing assistance. However, perhaps you could tell me, I've heard there's a substance on the street they're calling it catnip. Do you know where I might be able to acquire some? I have heard nip of the cat, if that is what you mean. A that feline is, delicacy. It is grown on the outskirts of town. Very pricey, my friend. And you do not appear to have the build for it. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes, it is not for me, it is for a friend. I'm going to hold it for my friend. Asking for a friend. Oh, how seems like exactly. that. I, I would not let the guards know. They they would not like it. That uh, material is banned uh, from leaving this area. It is considered uh, embargoed material. And certainly should not be possessed by people of your broad exotic stature <laughs> and why is that because it gives us all kinds of inhibitions broken if you follow my drift i do <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, if you do not seek entrance to the chapel i must take my leave uh perhaps just for my reference you said it's on the outskirts of the town does anybody happen to bring it into the town and sell it just so i can know which areas to avoid oh yes it's uh located at the uh, local hookah shop is what we call it because okay. it'll hookah you in and uh -huh. make you do all sorts of unmentionables <laughs> and where is the hookah shop uh, the hookah shop would be in the cat tree world, uh, in, in an open garden, uh, farther to the left. All right. 
Get Thank the you. real eyes wide shut vibe here from you, Felix. <laughs> uh, looking to buy some catnip. She points out that I would be careful, my friend, because someone with exotic tastes and catnip might be using it for nefarious or unscrupulous purposes. For medical reasons. It's medical catnip. Do, do, do you have the catnip card? I have the card. <laughs> Fair enough. Haggis, Noodle, and Robert, you have successfully healed the individuals. Uh, however, they are a little bit mad because you have also harshed their buzz in the process. Uh, they want to know why you three beat the shit out of them and where their money's at. Nice. Guys, guys, I, you know, it wasn't us. It was three guards. And to tell you what, it was that damn copious that sent the guards over after you because he said you guys were not doing his song right. I tell you what, I would not trust those damn gnomes, especially that one in his brew. But don't you worry. I came over to heal you. Because Felix, Felix the champion said, those guys are part of our team, and we got to take care of them. So I it's really sad. It only, it's sad that it only lasts a minute. I will take your uh, deception check. Come on, deception. Yeah. What the hell? Wait, wait, wait. Deception is not bad. 16. Ha-ha. I have for you what you have for me. Uh-huh. Really? The, the short guy, he was responsible for this? Yeah. It's something about them gnomes. You know you're going to get jacked in the alley. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, thank I, you, my friend. I appreciate the healing. Uh, does he have our money, too? No, I no, the three guards busted your ass and took off like cats out of a bag. But he, he sicked the guards on us? I believe so. I heard him saying something to him. But you know what? Hey, guys, here's five silver each. To try to help Coop. Go have you. A good you are a good man. You. Word of copious thief. You know what? Great. I feel bad. I'm going to give you each a gold. <laughs> Remember to spread the word of copious the champion. May Felix's blessings be upon you. <laughs> Looks like Robert's gaining a few followers there. Uh, inside Leaf, uh, a whole lot of gobbledygook going on with the gnomes, uh, but Copious reassures you. Yes. Uh, everything is peachy keen. Uh, you realize that you will not be able to cure this malady and you aren't exactly sure how to cure it. You would imagine if he was bitten or stung or took in some kind of pollen that you would probably need something similar to that uh, to go ahead and concoct an antidote. Uh, you'd also need the assistance of an apothecary. That is your best medical opinion, Dr. Welby. Hell, isn't Jason a apothecary? A apothecary? Not a apothecary, but a apothecary. A apothecary? So, yeah. Leaf, you can uh, provide that information to Copious, or you can yeah, just let them chat. Yeah, I'll pass that on to Copious. I'll our, best to bet, our best bet, Copious, is to go back to where he was at and get a sample and get it to an apothecary and have them brew up a the gnomes will point out to cope yeah the the gnomes will point out to copious that uh if that is the case and an antidote could be concocted they would certainly be more than willing to submit the rest of their budget over to your venue Uh, i would say that we have an accord and we we and out of the pure purely for the most selfless reasons are going to go back into the jungle to acquire whatever it takes to help their friend recover our friend our friend our our gnomish cousin to recover (laughs) um and then i'm just picturing i want to put this image in your mind the the remake of willy wonka uh with johnny depp when he's traveling through the jungle, that's totally going to be copious. Walking through the jungle, tasting anything, gets his hands on it. Say, oh, I'm going to put this in a beer. 
This is going in some bitters right here. This is where the name comes from. Because tasting weird shit in a jungle has never in the history of mankind gone wrong. <laughs> never once. And when I have any issues, I will be putting it in Robert's food or drink anytime I need to to test the, the outcome. Yeah, Jason's gonna poison. <laughs> I'm picturing Homer Simpson when he was doing peyote in the desert. <laughs> It's going to be the result here. Uh, fair enough. Uh, Copious and Leaf leave. Meet up with Felix. You two will pass. Okay. Minerva, the uh, Siamese kitten. Uh, we'll call her a kitten. Uh, and you go outside just as the three drunken amigos are headed back down to the tavern, loaded down with the gold of Sir Robert of Zeppelin, friend to all. Uh, so you do not get spotted at this time, Copius. And just to clarify, so I gave them all a gold piece as I got off the ship. They got drunk with it. Mm-hmm. Then he managed to convince them that I sick the guards on them and gave them another gold piece. These guys just got like a week's worth of wages for drinking. From both of you. From both of us. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Mike. No, just wanted but, to clarify. But they only hate one of you. <laughs> and for it's now. not Felix the champion. For now. Felix the champion. <laughs> You'll be hearing that song <laughs> later on. I like that one. <laughs> yeah. So oh, I'd be Lord. careful on which tavern you go to from here on out there, Copious. <laughs> oh. I, oh, it's not over yet. I, I think the rusty shiv is open. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, uh, Copious and Leaf, you may go ahead and extend the information that you have okay. uncovered yep. to the other four. Uh, the other four may also share if they want. Uh, Everything but payment will be shared. Fair enough. Uh, did you buy that mug yourself? <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. In, you know, enticing people to like me in this group. <laughs> Felix likes you. <laughs> I, I will remind you that in the one shot noodle did kill you. <laughs> he probably owed you that mug. So, but, uh, but, but you know, he, he didn't mean to kill you. He just clumsily killed you. That yeah. is true. There was no uh, intent. No intent. So it's just manslaughter. <laughs> uh, man fang slaughter. Man no fang. malice of forethought, right? That's true. Right. Yes. Uh, Only after. So uh, the adventurer section is pretty much nestled into a crescent uh which makes up the entire city uh your quarter district or ward whichever you'd like to call it is a small section of uh eli toran uh but it is populated by a wide variety of in, up to and including tabaxi uh so you have been to uh the dock master You've been to the Foreign Inn, and you have been to Delta House. What would you like to do? Go to the uh, Adventurer place for gear. Okay. Oh, yes, that was behind the corral, which you've been to. Uh, Yes, uh, you can go to Gear, Inc. That's Mocha Almond. All right. Okay. Uh, You pass by. You see that your zonkeys are being well tended to. They seem to be brushed down a lot. (laughs) by the tabaxi handlers uh and the elephant seems to be getting fed which is an anomaly in and of itself uh you also notice that they appear to be getting the ostriches ready for travel attaching unique bridles and other leather gear i.e saddles to the creatures as you get to gear incorporated you pass by several people several adventuring ilk they are human uh also with them is a half elf who eyeballs copious v bitters i would too if i was anybody it gives you a little bit of stink eye uh and walks away grumbling. Everybody perception at disadvantage to see if you can overhear what the grumbling is. Oh, God. Yeah, I can hear all right. Natural point. Disadvantage is no no bonus. Two two Ds and take the bottom one. Okay. 12. Uh, 8. The the Nat 20 will pick it up nicely. Uh, You can hear... 
damn gnome spoiled the fun for all of us. Uh, hmm. <laughs> uh, you open the doors to Gear Inc. Uh. and it looks a lot like uh, Cabela's. Uh, there is a wide variety of weapons and armor here. Uh, some are new, some are slightly used, <laughs> some have seen far better days. Uh, and there is a very spicy aroma in here, uh, and a rather plump cat, uh, with a bald patch right on top of its head greets you all warmly. Welcome! Welcome, adventurers! I see that you are ready to go delving. How may I assist you? I am owner-proprietor of Gears, Inc. Well, do you have any uh, uh, healing potions here? D12 against me. 12. <laughs> well, I got part of it. I got two. Sadly, uh, some probable associates of yours uh, just picked up the last of my inventory. I expect uh, more in two days, my friends. You come back in two days, I will heal you to the moon and back. What about long swords? Got anything with magic? Nomenclature is back in the back corner. You got anything that can like can like swim like uh one of those rape rapers? Rape, 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 no, rapers. Rape, Tom rapers. <laughs> uh, I want a bowl and chain. A flail. 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 Sorry, a flail. Right, you all have... the all the weapons are in the back right. All of the armor is in the back left. Uh, sporadically <laughs> and strategically placed in between is all the gear you will ever need. Anything Do you have that... anything that will speed and slow the passage of time? I'm gonna. And I have a, a book. <laughs> um, no, thank you. You Not can take my mother-in-law, please. <laughs> <laughs> that will make you feel like time has stopped. <laughs> Perhaps my accent is just a little wrong. I'm going to kind of hint at I'm looking for some nip of cat. Nip of cat? Got the nip, nip of cat. Oh Are my friend, oh. that is uh, that is uh, taboo equipment, uh, highly embargoed, uh, certainly not available in the back room. Oh, perfect, that's exactly what I was <laughs> not looking for. I've just that would be bad. Uh, nobody wants to see that. Out I don't want hands. to see it. I don't want to shop at places that have such things. That is uh, that is a man of honor right there. You no, are I'm a champion of men. Thank you, thank you. Uh, yes, yes, I'm gonna oh, look at God. something and then quickly make a beeline for the back room. Fair enough. To try to make it as inconspicuous as possible. Fair enough. Uh, Noodle and Robert, you're headed back to the weapons. Haggis, Leaf, and Copious. Are you guys headed with them, or did you want to? Yeah, look I'll head back with them. Okay, Copious and Haggis. I'm I'm just floating along, but eventually make our ways to like iron rations to get us there and back. Uh, you can see bricks of iron rations as you go, kind of uh, end caps. Uh, as you get back to the long counter of Cabela slash Gears Inc., uh, there is a tabaxi, uh, really patchy tabaxi. He's kind of like a calico, but he's he's missing tufts of fur. And as you walk up to the counter. He does this, and a big patch of fur is right in his mouth, and he goes, Yes, my friends, how may I help you? <laughs> I look for magical weapons. Uh, you D12, I'm going to D20, because they're going to be rare, especially in a shop. 11. No, oh, oh I God. got you. Two. See, mine sucked. Uh, the best I can do, my friend, is silvered weapons. Unfortunately, I truly don't know how that differs. Would you like Stream a silver? Of silver. Anything that's vulnerable to silver. Like like cantha ropes. Yeah. <sighs> wear tabaxis. Wear tabaxi. So if it's a wear tabaxi, what's it turn into? A person. <laughs> a vampiric tabaxi. Uh -uh. <laughs> well, I don't know. We'll wait long enough. We'll find out what Felix thinks he turns into. Dude, where's my zonkey? Dude, where's my zonkey? 
Ah, uh, silver weapons, my friend. That is the best. But you know what? Things that go bump in the night in the jungle, uh, they cower in fear at the sight of silver. I can get you a good price. Yeah, okay. What about for a dagger? I can get you a silver dagger for 15 gold. For how much? 15 gold. Damn, I paid 25 back in Cragmitch. With the scabbard. I paid 47 with the scabbard. Oh, that's right. You did. I really rooked <laughs> you on that. <laughs> yeah, you did. But I stole all that money from the vampires, so it's okay. See, it all works out. 15 gold, my friend. Mm. How about a crossbow? I don't have any silver crossbows. No, just a crossbow. Oh, I can do that. Yeah. I could actually pick up a crossbow. I see I'm proficient with it. So Heavy, light, or hand? <sighs> Was it like the wrist crossbow from like a... Um, it's like a pistol. Uh, dueling pistols. Uh, <laughs> what's the difference in damage? I'm sorry, I don't have it in front of me. Uh, I think it's uh, 1d4 plus 2, 1d6, and 1d8. But I'm just guessing at that. The He's a heavy. Okay, I'll get you a heavy. Uh, that's gonna cost you. That's gonna set you back eight gold pieces, and uh, for another two gold pieces, I'll give you twenty bolts. That's a deal anywhere, my friend. I tell you what. How about six for that plus two? I'll give you eight total for all that. Persuade me. Are those silver bolts or just regular bolts? If he wants silver bolts, I can do it. He wants hollow tipped silver bolts. Eighteen. Oh, you drive a hard bargain, my friend. You really do. But uh, I suppose uh, because I like the cut of your jib. And if you're with, oh, that's right. Felix, the champion isn't with you. So you're screwed there. Uh, I like, I like, I like you. I like you and your little son there. What would he like? Any I points like copious. Just those were, did you say die six, die eight, die 10? Plus uh, four plus two, D6, and D8. Uh, the light hand crossbow, die six plus one, and the okay. lights, die eight plus one, the heavies, die ten plus one. You know, uh, I just got to it on the simple ranged weapon. So, yes, I'll go with that. That works for me. D6, D8, D10. Oh, the you, heavy is D10? Yep, you chose the heavy. Yeah. That'll hurt. Uh, looks at Hagas. Hagas, what do you want? Um, is there any... Uh, can I go back to the main part of the store where it was the guy who introduced and ask him if there's anywhere I can find some like poison or any liquid that would melt, like an acid or something? Oh, we do not. We don't do that. That that is that is wrong on so many hey. levels. Back room. Uh, we do not. Uh, we do not accept that. <laughs> that is bad. Just have man fangs spit in the cup for you. These, these people, I tell you, yeah, you find the strangest people here. Back room. It, you can hey, hey. get some acid. I guess hold this, hold this, hold this bucket. I'll spray some poison in it for you. You can milk anything with teats, Haggis. <laughs> Don't these tabaxis have eight nipples? Oh well, yeah. Some, some hey. Yeah, there you go. So, Let's check out the back room. Back room. Yeah. Okay. Felix, I guess, Felix I guess, get yes, your mind do. off that right now. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm just saying noodles win. Uh -huh, uh -huh. eight nipples in you, got, you got Minerva hitting on you already. So I, I know. Uh, Wait till I get this cat nip. And you know, you, you won that one by default because everybody else went around the corner. So I got one word for you, Felix. Her stoop. What? I don't want to know. <laughs> we'll leave it right uh, I'm trying to mute myself. <laughs> um wow. This, this uh okay, so hog. <laughs> Oh boy. Uh, Haggis and uh, Felix reach the back door. Felix has already knocked on it. And what do you want? Go uh, away. Go away. Go uh, away. I'm looking for kip kitty nippers. Flippy. Meowy wowie. <laughs> Meowy wowie. <laughs> You're speaking my language. What's the password? The devil's green. Um. 
Go did away. you say meowy? Meowy wow. I did say meowy wowy. Yeah, they, I didn't they, think there was going to be a password. They, that's not the password, but they understand that word. <laughs> Sorry, I had a flashback. Uh, as uh, as you reach the back door, Hoggis, you can tell that Felix is having limited success with getting in there. Okay, um, I'll go back to the front and uh, and say if yeah, there. I'm going to tell you, they're asking for a password. Okay, all right. Try password ask- one. Yeah. <laughs> password. One, two, three, password. Four, five. Yeah. I have the same one on my luggage. What, <laughs> what month is it? <laughs> password December. <laughs> <laughs> What's your mother's name? <laughs> we need the last four digits of your ID. <laughs> what was the favorite dog in third grade? <laughs> I'll go around to the to the front of where the guy was and say if i was going to make a password for a back door of my house what should i make it and i'll ask him that oh uh the weapons are in the back corner my friend uh that is that is where you will find them we have plenty of good weapons uh back there philo beto I make my way back to the. Okay. Uh, Copious and Leaf, would you guys like to buy anything while you're back here? Young man? (laughs) Yes. Uh, I'm just asking uh, to look at if he has any armors that perhaps leather or um, uh, anything that would be of a higher value, perhaps, than what I'm currently wearing since I've been drenched. Who knows what kind of abuses were suffered on the voyage over? Uh, anything that could potentially improve my leather armor without changing armor class uh, or anything that may assist us in the adventure of a magical nature. That's not a weapon or armor. Uh, you want water. A yes. A whole lot of water. Really uh, safe drinking water or something that would refresh water or dilute it. <clears throat> uh, like sweet water. You sure. would have to go to the apothecary. We'll go to the apothecary, but uh, to the first request, is there anything available? Uh, studded leather, but that would change your armor class. Nope. If there's nothing of a more magical nature, I'm I'm good with where I'm at. Nope. Uh, uh, Robert of Zeppelin has already confirmed that. Uh, Felix, I would uh, like to look and see if there's if they have any uh, good rope. Oh yeah, they got tons of rope. Of hemp what type? Rope. Hemp. Oh You're hemp. Ready? Very strong, but very lightweight. Now, if you want a yeah. special kind of rope, they have what is called silk rope. They call it silk steel. It's made from the edder cap that reside in the jungle. And very uh, dangerous. Oh, yeah. How much is that running? Yeah, how much is that? Uh, That runs about 100 gold pieces per 100 foot. It's very difficult Uh, to catch. Well, uh, we could. Do you want to share the expense to buy one? Yeah, let's buy one. I feel like we're going to end up in something that's going to be bad sooner or later. So, what? Doesn't nah. sound like Philbar at all. So we'll we'll buy the a, a row of the hemp row or the silk row. Uh, you find that it is very thin, very lightweight, and very structurally sound. Uh, it's almost like if steel could be rolled into a cable, uh, but very soft. Okay. But the tensile strength of it is quite impressive. So do you want to just split that cost, Leaf? Yeah. Fifty fifty. Uh, as for the sweet water, you would need to see the apothecary. Felix Hoggis comes up to you and goes, what does he say? <laughs> What's the password? Right Philo Beto? All right, perfect. So I'm going to rap on the door one more time. and What do you want? Meowie wowie. I hear you. Philo Beto? One or both of you. Both. A paw reaches out, grabs a hold of you, and yanks you into darkness. <laughs> Hoggis, do you want to step up and get jerked into this dark room? Why not? Sounds fun. Sure. Uh, you are thrown onto Felix, who has been cast onto the floor. You hear slam. Illuminate. 
and a light, a magical light comes up on a table and you are surrounded by, shall we say, less than reputable individuals, all of tabaxi race, except for one female human. And she looks at you and goes, so what do you want? She has cat tattoos, full sleeves. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> Old cat lady, I understand who I'm dealing with here. I'm... My name is Julie Newmar. What can I do for you? Eartha Kit! I was waiting on Eartha Kit! Ah, I should have gone with Eartha. <laughs> I'm but, looking... but Julie is always going to be my cat woman. I'm looking for some uh, nip of cat. Cat. Nip of cat kind of thing. Possibly a meowy wowy strain or some rataclaw, maybe a cat in a tonic. One of the tabaxi. Don't forget the Franken cat. And uh, she goes, You don't even know what bacon smells like. Why should I trust you? You don't need to trust me. You don't. Well, We're in a dark alley in a back room. <laughs> it's like, back, a dark room in a. The back of a shop. <laughs> what about him? I, <laughs> to, prove, but to prove that we're trustworthy and that we don't narc, we'll do it in front of you narc. so that we don't remember. <laughs> That's oh, right. Cops can't do this. <laughs> and, you know, if we take it, you know, we're, we're okay. Yeah, this has a whole, uh, what, 68 whiskey vibe going on. <laughs> Is that your goat? <laughs> uh <laughs> Well, is it your goat? I, I'm going to say, well, I, we may be trustworthy, we may not be, but that's no no concern. And I'm going to flash some coin. Oh, and say the international language of friend. Yes. How much? Uh, how much gold are you going to flash? You hear a low purring behind you. Five gold pieces. Not enough. Ten gold pieces. And 20, 20 gold pieces. Twelve ninety-nine. How much? How much uh, am I flashing? Uh, how much do you want? Um, how much? Uh, I need about five doses uh, the tabaxi behind you pull up two rickety chairs put their paws on your shoulders and kind of nicely force you to sit down she whips out a stool flips it around in her hand, slams it to the floor, hikes up her skirt a little bit. Sprinkles some of the fabric or some of the herbage out and points to Felix. As your friend said, What did my friend say? Uh, you're going to have to do it before you can buy it. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Roll them up. Do it. Hey. Uh, I'm not sure how to do the catnip. I feel like I'm watching an episode <laughs> this is of... This my first time. This is The Wire. She takes a little bit of snuff and puts it up to your nose. Breathe deeply. Give me a constitution. Check. That's some good shit. <laughs> it was pencil Ooh, shaving. That's not good. <laughs> pencil shaving is great. Eight? Oh, you're right. That's not good. Although you start to feel a tingling sensation. Does the tingling feel good? That's right before the craving for other human flesh takes <laughs> over. Uh, Hoggis. Give me a constitution check. 
He's like, shit, bitch, watch this. <laughs> Does that Chevy Chase number? Oh. <laughs> no. Voodoo powder. Voodoo powder. Three. Uh, copious, it doesn't look like you have to toss his room. <laughs> uh, it's going to affect both of you in just a little bit. Uh, I'm glad you like. Uh, Very good. Yeah. So, you want five me. doses? Yes, five doses. <laughs> it, her leg is up on the table a little bit <laughs> while still sitting on the stool. Oh, wait a minute. Is this Julie Newmar? Look yes. like Julie Newmar in her prime? Yes, not current. Uh, no offense, Julie Newmar. No, no, no offense, because she still looks good even as, no. as she's aged. But Felix, I, I don't understand how you are resisting this part. I clearly don't know who Julie Newmar is. Oh, We have a lot to Google uh, from this I episode, folks. Don't, speak... don't Google Leaf's comment from her. Blonde earlier. and beautiful. Yeah, I'll, I'll send you a picture of mine, something to represent. Yeah. So uh it it's makes to, a lot of sense. It's to your liking. It yes, it's definitely to my liking. And the you, catnip's pretty good too. Yeah, you and you and Felix are starting to feel weird. Uh so uh twenty per dose. Oh, I thought it was twenty for all the doses. <laughs> oh no. No, 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 no. 20 seems a bit steep. Uh, is there any wiggle room there? Persuade me at disadvantage because, you know, 20's not bad. <laughs> kind of high right now. So don't really know what's going on. Oh, oh double sixes. <laughs> what is it seems like persuasion? a reasonable amount. Oh, so double sevens. Yeah, your your mind's a little bit on the cloudy side. Your lack of ability to make reasonable judgments is poor. Uh, your motor skills are a little off, uh, and you notice that for some reason uh, you really can't tell where Julie is sitting. But twenty sounds very reasonable. Yeah, let's let's do twenty. I, I okay. Hundred gold if you want five doses. Yeah, it's not working, old man. I yeah, I That's already worked it. That is. <laughs> yeah. So, Ooh. I think yeah, twenty uh twenty twenty per dose. That sounds good. Yeah, I, I guess you are in more than complete agreement. Uh, as the catnip seems to have adversely affected you as well so uh it is going to affect people that you blow it on uh because i assume that is your intent uh but reasonable care is going to have to be taken uh a couple minutes later noodle robert of zeppelin lee fan copious uh you are making your final arrangements with the iron rations uh the rope uh standard adventuring gear when haggis and felix emerge from the back room wearing each other's tunics for some unknown reason uh and they are <laughs> wow this is a great place this is I am happy a euphoria has taken over me and he is quite agreeable to damn near anything. Or something I put my fist, like a meat thing. So, Felix and Haggis, D12 against me. Wait, oh, just how agreeable are they? Oh, uh, they're very flexible. And are we finding out fairly quickly that they're this agreeable? Oh, yeah. They are happy. 11. But neither one of them is telling you why, which that, makes the owner proprietor very happy. So if they seem agreeable, I may need to take advantage of this if I can peel them off from the others for just a moment. I don't think Robert's going to let anybody out of this site with you around. Oh, but, he's out doing something. We don't know where he is. I'm right next to you, dumbass. <laughs> uh, you know what? Uh, both of you D12, if you're more than two higher than Robert, I'll let you hijack one of them. Ten. Nope. 
Yeah, uh, Robert is definitely concerned over Felix the champion and Hagas the flaxen <laughs> warrior. Uh, so he's not going to let them out of his sight. Well, a little bit with the Haggis, but you know, more about Felix. <laughs> the door opens and a bell rings and Leaf and Copious, you recognize one of the gnomes from the temple has entered the building and immediately talks to the proprietor and is sent over to the close left corner, apparently where you sell stuff, not buy. Uh, can we, I'm going to try to stealthily go over and listen to whatever he's doing. I'm going to be nonchalantly looking at whatever's available and try to eavesdrop. I am too. I'm not very stealthy, but I'm going to make my way. Noodle and Robert, what are you doing? I'm looking for see, um, some handheld, like, brass knuckle-type weapons. So like, fist, oh, yeah. fist weapon. Some kind of fist weapon. Sure. Uh, yeah, they've got uh, brass knuckles with spikes on them. I'll, want, I'll take those. How much do those cost? Do you want the ones with regular spike or the ones that have uh, a raised lettering? P-A-I-N. So you can punch it. Pain in their head. It says pain if they look in a mirror. <laughs> I want to say pain. Is one says uh, father, the other one says pain. Father, pain. Yeah, there, there's no five knuckler. You're thinking of uh, Princess pain. Bride. <laughs> I now, have to go with four. It, it just extends out a little bit off the edge. It's just pain, and then it wraps around the finger and just says like, yes. Dot the eye. Is that the one you want? Uh, no, I'll take the one with the jabby jabs. Uh, 1d4 plus 2, but it's going to set you back 35 gold. How much gold do you got, boy? Um, I'm going to ask him, how flexible are you with the, um... That would literally bankrupt you. I know. Very flexible. Right. What were you, what were you thinking? Um, how cheap could you go? You go 15? Or maybe, like, 20? <laughs> I'm sorry, 15. <laughs> You're the best bargainer I've ever seen. If you want it for 15! Did what? I get it for 40? <laughs> How uh, oh. Yeah, roll against me for uh, 20. D12. D12. You roll D12. He rolls 20. 11 for him. 3 for me. I'll give it to you for 20. You could have had it for 15. Gosh darn it. Well, good thing is, is you still have 15 gold left. Yep. Uh, Copious and Leaf, uh, Felix and Haggis, <laughs> you're just happy, man. You're just you're just happy. You know what? It, it's a lot like uh, uh, the Kurt Russell movie uh, in Chinatown. Big trouble in little China. Big trouble in little China. You drank uh, Egg Chen's uh, potion, man. You're feeling, feeling really great. Good. Feeling, feeling really good. Uh, feeling powerful, I'm definitely man. feeling good, and I did not expect to be feeling good. <laughs> so I know that I still need to get something while I'm here, but I can't remember what it was. No, you cannot. And Haggis <laughs> with his three, not even a chance. Felix, I want to buy I, a car tonight. I want to, <laughs> for some reason, I want to touch stuff. Oh, yeah, you can so touch I'm, stuff. I'm looking at the walls, just like, look. Uh, do I see anything that I'm like, I just, I got to touch? Yes, there is a mask on the wall. It is a very, I don't want to say Neolithic, maybe prehistoric, maybe Aboriginal mask. Uh, it appears to be carved out of wood, and it gives a very intimidating appearance and as you touch it, it's kind of curved and might even fit your face. If yeah. you Ooh, take it. it take it. Oh, yeah. I'm going to have to turn green. Going to take this. Take it. You grab a hold of it and start to tug and notice that it is attached to the wall and you feel a wrap uh, with a quarter staff across your hands. And it is the proprietor. You do not want to touch that. <laughs> yes, I do. You really do not want to touch that. Why? Why do I not want to touch it? That item. Ah, the guards are here. Hello, guards. Come on in, please. Check our. We do not have that stuff. Please check around. Don't touch it. 
Uh, and he has to walk off with the guards uh, because there are about six of them. They've heard <laughs> that there is some stuff. This is going to be so bad for you. Uh, Copious Leaf, uh, you can overhear even with your shitty stealth that the gnome is trying to sell something of a statue variety. Can we see it? Uh, you cannot see it. It's wrapped in burlap and he's covered the burlap up so the buyer can see it. The tabaxi behind it is... Uh, but as the tabaxi notices the guards, he smacks it down and kind of waves the gnome off. And the gnome is headed towards Felix, who is... <laughs> So, uh, give me a strength check, Felix. Let's see if you can yank it off the wall. Oh, you might be safe. I'm, sh I'm sure it's a good magic item. 16. Oh, yeah. You rip that fucking thing off. Hoggis is right next to you. Wow. <laughs> so. Oh, 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 this is so cool and scary. <laughs> yeah. What do you want to do with it? I'm, I'm gonna put, put it, it on. on. Oh, yeah, wow. <laughs> on, on yourself. Yeah, uh, you, are. you know you want to. <laughs> oh, <laughs> put that thing on man fan. Cover up that ugly ass scar. Fair <laughs> enough. Uh, what do you want to do now? Do you want to turn and look at Hoggis? I do, and I'm gonna go boogie 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 <laughs> and try to spook him. Sure, uh, ho oh, Hoggis. <laughs> I just doesn't care, man. <laughs> this is funny. Yeah, yeah, this man. is <laughs> your face is your face is all <laughs> your face <is> all. <laughs> uh, yeah, you could. That's right. The New Jersey Devils. <laughs> uh, that's right. I stole your Jesus fish. Uh, you guys, you, you two are dipshitting around. Leaf and Copius are keeping an eye on the gnome. Uh, Noodle and Robert are checking out the wares. Uh, oh boy. Uh, so, uh, just to get so the the two uh catnip twins are separated from Robert and Noodle, right? I got my eye on them, you son of a bitch. As soon as he said that, I said, I'm gonna be looking at them. No, 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 wait, I'm not gonna do anything. I'm, I'm still following the guy, but I want to uh, very uh, just almost sub audibly. Sing a very enunciated version of the Volbitter's anthem. While they're so susceptible, we're going to drill this into Felix and Haggis's heads. Uh, Felix and Copius D12. If Felix wins, Felix turns and looks at Copius and goes, Booga, booga, booga. <laughs> Go, Felix. Oh, booga, booga, booga. Copious. You beat me. If it's a straight D12, I got four. No, oh. you didn't. No, I got three. He got a three. Oh, I won! Oh, I can't beat anything today. So Copius walks by, sees the two dipshit twins, and goes, na 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 Give me a DC 12, Felix. We'll call it charm, but it's not really charm. So I can see bitters walking by them, though, right? It's fine. Yeah. Yes, and he does not appear. They they do not make direct eye contact. Uh, a five. Na, 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 na. Hoggis, you can't understand them though, but the tune's kind of catchy. The cops are done. Uh, <laughs> so am I still like? Da, 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 da. Oh, you don't have to do this. Oh, it's just there. It's there. <laughs> okay. It is on your face. Did it have a strap or is it like Jim it's Carrey in the mask? the mask? Yeah, that's what I said. Lovely. Face. And you're gonna <laughs> oh, yes. I, no, then I don't think that I realize that it's on there yet. I'm still holding it. That's fair. <laughs> yeah, sure. That that's perfectly that's perfectly acceptable. Yeah. <laughs> 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 that's exactly what's going on right now. 
Okay. Uh, the proprietor looks over, escorts the guards out. Come back anytime. We're fine. We're fine. Turns around, looks at Felix, and goes, oh, my God, get him out the back. And this is when I let go of the mask as soon as he looks at me. And I'm like, oh, I wasn't touching the mask. Yes, Jason, you were. <laughs> the mask of Voorhees. <laughs> is attached to your face. Haggis, however, finds this hilarious. Uh, a couple of tabaxi uh, with cataracts grab both of you roughly, but you don't care because, you know, it's, it's, it's all good. Uh, you are hustled back into the back room and out another back door into an alleyway. Uh, Copious, Leaf, Noodle, and Robert give me perception checks to see if your friends are relentlessly pushed out of Gear Inc. They are by me. I rolled a four. Do I? Yes. 22. 17. Plus perception. 14. No. Perception plus three. It's 15. Oh, 15, sorry. Uh, Robert, you're looking at something that uh, Man Fang was showing you, but Man Fang, Copious, and Leaf uh, see the proprietor order uh the bobsy twins out and through the back uh you may give chase but when they when you get to the back door you're gonna hear snap 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 click 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 <laughs> and the proprietor go oh my apologies friends uh this back room is for administrative use only you need to go away uh but you uh just put our friends out the back door why no i didn't yeah, you did. Am I with them? I know it because everybody ran. Yeah. Um, so I go, well, do I need to get the guards and let them know about the back door? Sure. Yeah, you can get your was guards. That, was because, that because of that mask that Felix well, what, had on? Yeah, what was the deal with that mask? Uh, shoplifters will be prosecuted. Well, what about? Uh, is that why you run him out the back door? I don't know what you're talking about. Catnip? Prosecuted or yeah. sacrificed? Which is it? Catnip? Folks, I think it's time to go ahead and close up shop for the day. Uh, everybody, uh, let's uh, let's close up shop and let's uh, hit the tavern. Okay, so yeah. everybody, the shop is closed. Everybody, let's what go out the front the door. What material is your shop made out of? I'm sorry? What material is this shop made out of? Uh, it's made out of jungle wood. Not wood, huh? I like wood. Mm -hmm. How Very damp work? wood. Very humid here. Wow. <laughs> Sounds like a challenge, Newton. Yeah, yeah, it does. I like the challenge, dude. It's going to take a while to catch this place on fire. I, right? I'm going to head out the front door and go around the back to see if I can find the two dummies. Yeah, like, I want to clarify with the, the shop owner. Does this door go to the back alley? Does this go to an alley? It's over here. What if you set the catnip on fire? Then nobody will go know what's going on. You uh, you would be correct, sir. It uh, leads out the back alley. I believe your friends uh, were escorted out because they had to pee. I did not hustle them out of our shop. This shop is uh, open to all. We care about it. Thank you very much for coming. Appreciate your service. Uh, let's go ahead and leave now, folks. This has to go. Put your hands on me. Oh, I'm not putting my hands on you, Fred. Uh, the two tabaxi behind you would do that if I asked them to. But I, <laughs> I am a friend to all. Right. You just kidnapped my. You just kidnapped Felix the champion. Oh no! We showed them to the. Oh, uh, you showed them to the back. I'll go out the same way they did. Then. I'm afraid that door is locked. Oh well, every door that's locked can be unlocked one way or another. Uh, two brute-sized panther-like cats emerge from the shadows and say, uh, <laughs> "Some wrong, boss." These guys are heavily muscled and look Not like with two. Him. Two Egyptian gods. Uh, boss, uh, everything okay here? Here, kitty, 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 kitty. My friends, uh, I'm afraid the shop is closed for right now. Uh, gentlemen, could you make sure that these individuals get out of the, the shop safely? And you know what? What about some dancing lights? Their, their purchase is on me. Dancing lights. You know what I want to do? I think Nothing. I can. I think I could punch you. I think I could punch you. No, no, no. We'll, we'll go. We'll go. All right. You guys are missing a key thing here. Their he purchase is on tree. him. Let's 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 go. He said they're in the back alley. I think I got punched through the. I know. I'm. I'm, 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 I'm Crossbow is go. free, 
and the brass knuckles are free, as are the uh, rope and the iron Russians. Uh, Haggis and Felix, your purchases are not on the house. <laughs> they are not on the house, nor are they on the books. <laughs> 35 back. I'm, head, I'm hustling down to get around yep. the back to make sure that the two knuckleheads are in the back alley. Leaf will be right. ahead of you. Yep. Let's go ahead and end it for today with a little cliffhanger with what's going to happen to Felix and Haggis? What's going to happen to people who look at Felix? Felix. Uh, with that in mind, let's do final thoughts. Man Fang, what'd you think? I'm wondering if that, I thought it was great, but I'm still thinking about how breakable locks are. There were a lot of locks on there, but you don't know that. <laughs> Felix would tell you, all you got to do is look him in the eye. If we see him again. Yep. That's true. Probably look him in the eye. Yep. Robert, what'd you think? Uh, I think the, uh, you know, the campaign that we have going to uh, break down the evil empire of uh, copious fitters is going well. I, I like how some change is going. I think Felix, the brave, the strong, and the sexual shall rise up. I, I'm liking it. I'm liking the way this is going. The, the virile. Felix, the virile. The virile. Yeah. yeah. Felix! Oh, Felix! Haggis, welcome back. What'd you think? I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I'm um, high. Cool. With my character, it's great. Thank you, Tommy Chong. Felix, how about you? <laughs> wait till you find out what that thing does. <laughs> oh, I can't wait. It had to be a mask. Frank, Frank Sr., what do you think? I'm just glad uh, you took the bait. <laughs> yeah. Was high. It just, it's just, it's always something. You know, just uh, wait to see what, what you're going to throw at us. I didn't, I, you know, I didn't throw anything. He he went off and wandered uh, around. This Everybody else cat world thing is just so hard to bite my tongue. There's so many one-liners I could be using right now. I am unfamiliar with all of them. Sake, I'm going to hold them, hold them in. That is very feline-ish of you. And I can leave the room and get them all out. Uh, uh, last but certainly not least, Jason, what would you think? Uh, I think the rivalry with uh, Robert of Zeppelin is going to rise to a new level really, really quickly. Uh, so we'll be, we'll be watching. There may be some notes being sent to the GM this week in preparation for next week. So That is fair. And, uh, and I just want to say, Felix, your love life may take a real nosedive with that Jason Voorhees mask you're wearing. But I guess it's happening. You got to Jim Carrey. That is certainly a possibility. That was my whole reason for buying the catnip. Booga, booga. I, I am sure that that mask is probably useful and non-damaging whatsoever. I mean, it didn't do anything to Haggis. Haggis found it amusing. So that's probably what it's going to be. And, and Felix, just for the record, those of us that grew up with Julie Newmar, very disappointed in you. You know, that, that is the fault of the DM not being able to logistically get the pop culture icon. Had I said Christina Aguilera, would that have helped you out? Probably. Or Britney okay. Spears, yeah. yeah so. you know, someone from my generation. But, you know, you got it. Well, you know, I guess uh, Anne, uh, who was Catwoman? Anne Hathaway. Hathaway. Oh. Uh, that that would have worked. Julie so. Newmar. Not Catwoman as much as Julie first. Newmar. That's right. Julie Newmar is the first one. And before that, she was on a TV show with. Uh, Oh crap! Old man moment. Can't remember his name now. That that show was very old, so I uh, don't expect you to remember. It. Early sixties. Uh, yeah, I can't remember. Folks, uh, anyway. <laughs> that that's the Margu campaign for tonight. Uh, we'll see what happens to these guys next week. I'm sure it's going to be fine. I'm sure. <laughs> uh, follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to buy our crap, it's there. If you want to chat with us in Discord, it's there. Most importantly, as always, uh, if you want a seat here on the table or on the panel on the TAC show, hit us up, mhoboinc at Gmail or Twitter. Thank you very much at Pirate Dog Dice, and thank you at oddfishgames.com. Oddfish Games is adding, trying to add a third game at Gen Con, their first two 20 person seats sold out uh so if you want to do gen con online look for them sadly phil bar uh at gen con is full with eight people so eh, sorry you missed it uh but if they agree we'll 
post it live and you can watch that debacle. Folks, for all of us here at Murder Hobo Wink and the Margu campaign, thanks for joining us. We will see you on Tuesday for the talk show. Everybody wave and say goodbye. 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 Wash your hands. Cover your mouth. <laughs>